Hi there, welcome to uh, another Pyaro video. Uh, this one we're welcoming a new member of our team, Andre, um, and we're going to ask him a few questions and find a little bit about him. Uh, so Andre, we're going to hear a bit about you, so uh, where are you from? Uh, I now live in Prague, in Czech Republic. I yes. originally come from Slovakia, which is next to it, obviously. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have been working as a Java E developer most of that my time, and recently doing some lectures in Java E yeah. for smaller teams. And I really enjoyed it. Great. So, how did you first hear about Pyro? Uh, you know, uh, I have probably read about it on one of uh, Evangelizer's uh, blog. Mm -hmm. I think it was Adam Bien who is kind kind of uh, likes uh, Pyro, or yeah. it seems to me like that and it was pretty amazing to see also other people react uh, when mm -hmm. they found out about Pyara as, as uh, I was I kind of liked Blast Fish server yeah. and uh, it was interesting to see that some other people are providing support and enhancing uh, Glass Fish uh, as Oracle drop support yes. for it yeah. and even my one of my friends uh, was using Glass Fish for production and okay. then when I showed him Pyara, he was like really surprised and he just told me that he needs to look into it. Sure. So it was quite amazing that not only it's interesting for me, but other people and like the rest of all the people in the community. So. Right. Well, it's always good to hear about uh, real users' actual experiences of Pyara. Um, so we first met you at uh, Devox, I think, in, in Belgium. Um, so how, how did you find that conference? Was it was it enjoyable? Yeah, it was it was great and it was huge. I didn't great. expect it, yeah. and I've never been at such a conference before. I like uh, I've always wanted to go to Devox. It's yes. like a mecca for, <laughs> for Europe, at least European developers yeah. so, related to Java. And um, I was glad that I just won the ticket there because I, I was sure. thinking of going there, but just. You know, I was saving some money. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then it really helped to, to get there and to, uh, to see you guys there. Yeah. I uh, really enjoyed it. Yeah. So, yeah, for, for everyone who doesn't know, um, Andre won our DevOps ticket giveaway, and we, it's one of, I think, many ticket giveaways that we've had. Um, we do like to meet members of our community. So, um, if you ever feel like coming down to uh, one of these conferences where we're going to be speaking, um, just let us know on Twitter and we'll, uh, we'll be happy to meet up with you at, uh, at our stand. So, uh, Andre, after you'd met, met us and you'd uh, you know, got to know us a little bit, what made you go that extra step from just being involved as a community member to saying, actually, I want to work for Pyara? Um, that's maybe a funny story, but maybe not. But okay. It's really like the, the things met in a good it was, it was pretty like a coincidence. Like, like a coincidence. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, actually, as I saw it, it is a uh, great stuff you are doing here. Yeah. Yeah. I was already working as a consultant. I was thinking of uh, having a remote job if it's yeah. possible. And even in, at that time at the conference in Belgium, I was thinking of maybe if there is an option to work for Bayer, I would be interested. Yeah. So later, like I think two two months afterwards, I saw on Twitter the announcement that you're looking for somebody to provide service yeah. support, and I really got interested. I, I think I, I uh, wrote you, I sent you a CV and a letter yes. exactly that day that I saw the announcement. Great. Cool. So, um, is there anything that you've uh, learned about in the in your past week here in in Melbourne? Uh, about Pyara that you're particularly uh, interested in or, or excited about getting to work with? Yeah, I'm certainly in, in excited about the, the whole mood in Pyara and uh, yeah. the which is not only in Pyara but I see it in the community outside that there yeah. are people who, who like Pyara even though they there are not so many people probably using it in production but many people are thinking about using it in production yeah. And following the trends, following what Pyara can offer them, there are many interesting things uh, for microservices and for, for cloud, or maybe there will be more in some newer, later Pyara releases. Yeah. So this is pretty, pretty exciting. 
that Pyo is providing something more than a standard Java E API and um, sure. attitude. And I think community like like it, and I like to work for a company which is well perceived by the community. Good. Well, I'm I'm glad that our, our uh, server, and our product, and team are well looked at by the community. So, um, last question then. Um, you've been with us here in uh, in Melbourne, which is a small uh, town uh, in the middle of England. Uh, how do you like it? How have you uh, enjoyed your time here? Yeah, Melbourne is a lovely city. It just kind of reminds me of my old town where I grew up because there sure. are hills right uh, uh, close to the city. Yeah. Uh, well, it's a town actually, yeah. not a city. Yeah, it's a, li it's a little small town, uh, I guess. Uh, it, uh, I was a bit confused for, at first because I thought that Payar is based in London mm -hmm. uh, because now nowadays everybody thinks that all the startups and all the cool cool yes, things yeah. uh, are done in uh, London, Silicon Valley, or major cities. Yes. Yeah. So it's pretty amazing that you were able to build uh, a great company here in mm -hmm. Melbourne, and uh, I think uh, like the, the company is doing great. Great. Well, thanks very much, um, and we look forward to uh, I'm sure hearing from you again very soon. Thanks. Yeah.